In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a login form and link it to your WordPress website. So I'm using Word WordPress to create to create the website and hosting it as my web hosting company. So I've clicked on admin panel to take us to WordPress dashboard. So the website that I created, um, I followed the wizard and I've applied the 2024 theme and this is what it looks like nothing i didn't do anything to it uh after after the website has been created it's pretty much left as is and this is the temporary domain that i was giving i'm also running the website at the moment from incognito mode so that um we can test our login page because we are already logged in in this um browser session so to uh, create the form, we need to add a new plugin called Forminator. So just put the mouse over the plugins uh, link here and then click on add new plugin. Now the plugin that we will need is called Forminator. Just type it in the search and hit enter. And it should appear as the first one in the list of return results. Um, sorry, search results. Click on install now to install the plugin. And once the installation is completed, click on activate. Once the plugin is activated, you'll be able to see it in the side menu. So click on Forminator. And here you'll be able to create a form or even a poll, but we are interested in the form. So I'm gonna click on create. And we can actually start with a blank form and put in the fields that that we like, but instead I'm just going to use the pretty made um, pre template. It's called logging. And I'm going to keep the name as it is, and I'm going to click on create. Now over here, you can actually add more fields if you like to your login form, but I'm going to keep it as, as it is. Then you can also do other things in the, in the edit mode. So you can actually change the appearance of your form. Uh, lots of, options like fonts, colors, and you can also add custom CSS if you need to. The user logging uh, here, it just maps it to the fields already done. You can choose to uh, have a remember me field. And uh, once the user's already logged in, you can also have a message. So yeah, so that's something for you. If you don't want, you can change whatever settings you like. For behavior uh, after submission, um, so by default, this is taking the user to the admin page for WordPress uh, admin page. So I, I may choose to take the user back to the um, home page after they've logged in. So it is up to you how you want to do this. But yeah, have a have a look at other other settings. I'm going to click on publish because I'm just happy with most of the default settings, apart from what I've changed. So from here, you can actually copy this short code. So I've copied that. And then what we now want to do is, uh, let me just go back to, um, to Forminator. And I'll show you that now we have the form. We have a form that you can even edit and um, and do, do what, what you want to do. So you can go back and edit this form whenever you want to. Let's link this to a page. So I'm going to go to Pages. And then I'm going to click on add new page. So the title, I'll keep it as a login. Now for this part, I can choose to paste that short code and it will add the form. I'm going to undo control Z and undo. And I'll show you another way. What you can do is click on the plus sign and then click on form. Now that's already asking me to choose the form. So I'm, I've only got the login form, so it's selected that one for me. And then I'm going to click on publish. Again, publish. So we're going to go to our web page again um, here, and now I'm going to refresh. So now we have a link to the login page. So when I click on it, you can actually see the URL taking me to the login page that we've just created. Now I'll be able to log in because I don't have um, a new user apart from the one that I'm using for uh, my website here. 
So if I were actually to visit the page from within the session that I'm in, it's going to tell me that I'm already logged in. Now, in the next video, uh, we will create a registering uh, a register page where we get to register a new user and then we get to log in that user. So if you're interested, stay tuned and thank you for watching.